بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد. Currently, East Africa is experiencing the worst famine that they have seen in 60 years. In Somalia, Ethiopia, Kenya, and Djibouti, all of these places are suffering, and especially in the southern part of Somalia. And some of the reasons for this is the lack of rain and the failed agricultural infrastructure, as well as tor- uh, turmoil and a failed state, civil war, and strife. These are some of the things that predominantly add to this factor. And we know that this is the qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. However, what can we do to help those suffering people? As they are human beings, as you're as human beings. And they have children as you have children. They have mothers and fathers and elderly as you have mothers, fathers and elderly. So how can we show our mercy and our rahmah during this great month? What do we need to do within ourselves? And how can we purify our wealth? We can do that simply by assisting those people who are suffering disproportionately from this famine and from this strife. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us about those people in the Qur'an who are the people of righteousness and help and have the characteristics of the believer. Qala subhana fi kitabihi al-kareem thumma kana min al-ladhina amanu wa tawasul bil sabri wa tawasul bil marhama ulaik ashab al-maymana Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says then those who believe and they urge one another to patience and they urge one another to mercy then those are the people of the right hands meaning those are the people who are successful those are the people of Ahl Paradise the people of Paradise why? because they urged one another and exhorted one another and practiced uh, believing in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and urged one another and exhorted one another to being patient and they urged and exhorted one another to being merciful how can we show our mercy? we can show our mercy by giving to those well-known charities and those well-known individuals who can make sure that the money reaches those people who are in need and I encourage myself first and foremost and those people who listen to do your best during this holy month of Ramadan to try to spend some of your wealth because we spend so much money on the the grand cups of, of coffee and espresso and we spend so much money on various forms of, of food and to have the best uh, suhoor and the best iftar however what if you spent just a few of your dollars a few of your euros a few of your reals a few of your other currencies to help sustain and help a a, 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 a child that is on the verge of destruction and I ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless this to be a form of helping people being alleviated from uh, starvation and famine. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.